Okay, so the Jenny Q show is a variety show. It's on Facebook Live. And what I do with it is I have a variety of guests because it's a variety show. My vision for the Jenny Q show was just to have something fun and fast paced, kind of uh, entertainment and information, but with emphasis on entertainment. I wanted to bring a variety of people who are doing really cool things to the show and uh, share their knowledge, their experience, their wisdom, their craft, their talent. Um, and so that's what the Jenny Q show is. It's variety at its finest. Okay, so the real truth is, Word on the street was, or word on the digital street was, that Facebook Live was going to dominate. And I totally just went with that. Um, I wanted to get the most viewers because that would then give me leverage to get better guests. So I went with Facebook Live and I'm absolutely loving it. I don't regret it at all. It's fun. I like the interaction. I know a lot of people were uh, afraid that there wouldn't be as much of a community feel um, on, on a platform like Facebook live, but I can tell you that, you know, um, I think I'm seven and we just did episode seven last night and I am getting the community feel and it's so fun. So I'm, I'm elated with it. Okay. So the show has changed a lot since leaving Blab. When I was on Blab, I did an in-depth interview with one person. My theme there was I interviewed people who demonstrated excellence in their field. And um, I did over a hundred interviews uh, on the Jenny Q show there. It was also the Daily Q show before that. And the thing is, um, I completely loved that experience. I would still love to do in-depth interviews, um, but I just felt like for the Facebook Live audience, that wouldn't be the right fit. Um, and so I just went with my new vision and just, you know, threw caution to the wind. Rather than sticking with something that was successful, I kind of changed it up a bit. <laughs> okay, so I don't know that I'm that self-aware to answer that question. Um, I think if anything, um, I've gotten more comfortable with the live elements that might come in, the mistakes that happen, you know, and just roll with it. I know when I started my first show on Facebook Live, I was a nervous wreck, which is interesting because I was on Blab, which was live. Um, but there was something about shifting to Facebook uh, and I was so nervous and I had to just go past the, that fear and um, and kind of realize, uh, you know what, this is live video. Uh, things are going to happen. So many ways. Uh, it's I started on Periscope with live with live streaming. And from there, it has just like changed so much. I have been introduced to people that I would have probably never had a way to meet, especially not at the rate that I met so many amazing people. Um, I've learned it's been the the year of the, the what's what's a good way to say this? The biggest year of personal growth really in my life. So uh, because it was so fast and so quick and I had to process so many new pieces of information, new things about people, new things about myself that I hadn't even known about. Um, and so uh, just the, the personal growth, the people that I've met, the opportunities that have come, um, it has changed every single aspect of my life. And I'm not exaggerating. Even, even through live streaming, I met um, through my connections through live streaming. Then I uh, have had the opportunity to um, do public speaking and uh, host an event, MC an event in Las Vegas, a two-day event. And then in that area, I uh, met um, somebody who's now my personal trainer and what I'm learning from him now, I'm just, it's like, it's literally uh, like the dominoes, right? You, you tip one and it's just touching every area of my life. Gosh, what's next for me? I, I hope a lot of excitement and adventure and uh, fun. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm shooting for.